Welcome to another segment of Ask Dr. Maisha, where we're creating pathways to peace of mind. This week's question comes from Rob H. And Rob is concerned about systolic hypertension in 40 plus year olds. Well, Rob, that's a loaded question, should we be concerned? The answer is, you should be concerned, but that should not affect your activity as long as your blood pressure is controlled. So here are the things that you should be concerned about. You want to be concerned about what your blood pressure is on a day-to-day -day basis. My recommendation is to have yourself a home blood pressure cuff and to check your blood pressure at first on a daily basis and then when you know that you're well controlled on maybe a weekly or bi-weekly basis to make sure that you're maintaining that control. As long as you're maintaining control of your blood pressure, being very active is not a problem and in fact is very healthy for you to actually keep your blood pressure lowered and your heart healthy. So when I say be concerned, I don't mean be worried, but I do mean be proactive and be aware of where you are in your blood pressure. The second thing to be concerned about or to be aware of is your diet. Now I will mention diet in every single Ask the Doctor segment you all know, but you want to be careful of high salt, high fat, um, dietary type things. Uh, you want to also be careful of pork because pork contains a whole lot of salt as well. I recommend cooking your food as much as possible. When you go out to eat, you don't know how much salt they're putting in their food. So it's possible to get a higher salt content than you realize. And then the third thing is to stay hydrated. When you stay hydrated, then that allows for the body cells to work as they're meant to work. So I do recommend at least one to two liters of water a day. If you're very active, it may be more, depending also on your, your body weight, because they usually recommend having your body weight of the equal to your body weight in ounces of water. And <laughs> they recommend having equal to your body weight in kilograms in ounces of water, if that makes any sense. <laughs> For more information about that, you want to visit the website www.create-your-blueprint.com and find out a little bit more about how to calculate how much water you should be drinking for your weight. Now, if there's anything else to worry about, that would be your stress levels because high stress can cause resistance in maintaining a healthy blood pressure. So are you in a high stress corporate environment or are you having a lot of stress in the relationships or with family? You want to learn how to either eliminate the stressor or manage the stress itself. My recommendation is to eliminate the stressor if at all possible, but most people are not going to necessarily go and jump ship with jobs that they hate, or you can't disown parents or children or some mostly spouses. Some might disagree, but in the, in the real world, you want to be able to manage those stresses rather than have to eliminate some of the more permanent ones. So in the, at the end of the day, the bottom line, what there is to be concerned about is, are, is your blood pressure being maintained at a normal level? And buy yourself a blood pressure cuff so that you can know that it's being maintained at a normal level. Continue to be active as long as your blood pressure is being maintained at a normal level. Now, if your blood pressure is not being maintained by whatever methods that you're using, visit your physician, your holistic professional, and do what needs to be done to have your blood pressure come back to normal. Because when your blood pressure continues to be maintained at a higher level, then you're causing more work for your heart to do, and eventually your heart will get tired. If you can imagine when you go to the gym and you lift weights, you build muscle. Now, with the limbs, the, the arms and the legs, that may be great. But with the heart, you don't want to build and bulk up the heart muscle because that decreases the ability for it to relax and receive blood. So the higher your systolic blood pressure is, the more resistance your heart is pushing against to push the blood to the vital organs and the brain and the limbs of the body. So you really want to may not be walking around with blood pressures above 140 over 90 for long periods of time. 
So again, I say, that's why it's important to have your home blood pressure cuff and why it's important that if your blood pressure is consistently over that 140 over 90 that you see your medical professional or holistic professional so that you can do what needs to be done to get your blood pressure normal so that, that we relieve the, the workload of your heart and maintain the, the viability and the, um, the softness of the muscle of the receptability of your heart for long periods of time because that maintains the heart health. And then of course the second thing is to watch your diet and manage your stress levels. Rob, I hope I've answered all of your questions with regard to what you need to be concerned about with high blood pressure in 40 plus very active people. And if you want to know more, again, you can visit the website www.create-your-blueprint.com and that is where you will find more health tips where you will find recipes, healthy recipes, and where you will be able to download your free guide to stopping stress and finding peace of mind now. Additionally, if you're in the Atlanta area and you'd like to see me as a medical professional about your blood pressure or any other holistic health problem that you're dealing with or health problem in general that you're dealing with, you can visit my practice website at mbswellness.org. Have a great afternoon and we'll see you next episode.